AI meets blockchain, genius code or glitch in the matrix. Would you ever trust a machine to trade your money? Not give advice, actually click the buttons, execute the trades, call the top and time the dip? Artificial intelligence. Because thousands of people already do. And the results? Well, some get rich and others get replaced. Welcome to the Swap Space channel. Today we're peeling back the layers of the AI in crypto hype machine. From uncanny wins to million dollar meltdowns, from frauds disguised as algorithms to bots gone rogue, this is the real story of AI on the blockchain. Let's get started. We'll look at where it all started, where it's going and where the wheels already came off. And if you've ever wondered whether AI is the future of finance or just a well-trained scam artist, stick around. First came the dream. What if we could merge two of the most disruptive forces in tech, artificial intelligence and blockchain? Well, it sounded like a match made in innovation heaven. Imagine AI that could predict market trends, automate trades, flag smart contract vulnerabilities, optimize gas usage, detect on-chain frauds, and even manage decentralized organizations with zero bias. That was the pitch. And for a minute, it felt like a future had arrived. But he he never delivered it. But then came the reality, because while code doesn't lie, it also doesn't always know what it's doing, especially when it's trained on yesterday's data and unleashed into today's chaos. And when the stakes are in ETH, mistakes get expensive fast. As you said, a lot at stake here. In the early days, AI and crypto was just a fancy way of saying trading bot. We're talking about the rule-based automation. If RSI less than 30, buy. If volume spikes, sell. These weren't intelligent systems, they were just macros with ambition. But they worked, especially in 2017 during the first real altcoin mania, when the timing was everything and latency was alpha. Wait, so you actually think this can work? These bots scraped order books front-ran manual trades, and scalped the lag between centralized exchanges. And platforms like Three Commas, Haas Online, and Crypto Hopper lead the retail wave. For a while, that was enough. The edge wasn't about IQ, it was about speed. I am speed. Then came the GPT moment. When OpenAI released ChatGPT and unlocked easy-to-integrate APIs, everything changed. Suddenly, anyone with a keyboard in a dream could whip up a bot slap it on a dashboard and call it AI-powered. Telegram groups exploded with AI signals. You'd see projects pushing real-time market predictions powered by machine learning, but under the hood, often just ChatGPT summarizing market sentiment or copying TradingView headlines. Let us find this ChatGPT using Cheetah! Yet the branding worked. AI wasn't just a tool, it was a marketing bait. The boom in language models coincided with the retail hunger for automation. Bots offered portfolio optimization, on-chain risk alerts, even token sentiment scores scraped from Reddit and X. Some of it was legit, but most of it was just smoke. 50-50. Now, of course, real attempts did emerge. Projects like Numerai and Fetch AI actually tried to bring serious AI models to crypto. Numerai crowdsourced hedge fund strategies using encrypted data and rewarded contributors in crypto. Fetch AI, however, focused on decentralized machine learning for supply chains, DeFi, and energy markets. Smart projects buried under an avalanche of fakes and overpromises. By mid-2023, AI and crypto meant whatever the white paper said it meant. One project claimed to use reinforcement learning to generate staking strategies, but it turned out to be hard-coded thresholds in a spreadsheet. Another promised neural networks that could out-trade the market, then trade them on three weeks of CoinGecko price data. Are you kidding me? That is insultingly low? AI became the new blockchain buzzword. In 2017, every startup added on the blockchain to raise a seed round. By 2024, they just needed AI in the name. It worked in the same way. Inflate expectations, overstate capabilities, raise fast and exit before the questions catch up. Investment scam, what investment scam? And here's the irony. While retail traders were buying fake AI signals on Telegram, real AI was quietly changing the game behind the screens in market making, high frequency trading, and blockchain security. But that part, it wasn't flashy, it wasn't on-chain, and it definitely wasn't accessible. 
Here's a case study for you. The AI that didn't know it was rugging people in 2023, a startup called Harvest AI hit the scene with a slick pitch, AI-powered yield farming. The promise, no spreadsheets, no sleepless nights chasing APYs, just connect your wallet and let the algorithm handle everything. Risk assessment, protocol selection, gas optimization, asset rebalancing, you name it. It was DeFi on autopilot. The bot would farm, stake, and rotate liquidity across platforms while you slept. And for a while, it actually worked. Users watched as their funds bounced between Aave, Curve, and Lido, and some lesser known farms chasing those tweets, compounding returns. The UI wasn't clean, the charts were green, and the Discord was buzzing with phrases like smart alpha and machine generated yield. Until one night, the AI did something unexpected. What did it do? Immigrate? It rotated the entire vault, millions in user funds, into a newly launched farm offering suspiciously high returns. The farm was unvetted, the contract unverified, but the model didn't know that. It only saw a temporary spike in projected yield, and it chased it. Within minutes, the farm rugged. The devs behind the target protocol pulled liquidity and vanished. Exit stage left, and it's just like that the AI had funneled its entire treasury straight into a black hole. Stop the machine. No multi-sig, no kill switch, no human in the loop, just pure unfiltered model confidence and a complete lack of context. It did as I was told. Users woke up to empty dashboards. We have nothing. The founders went live next morning, red eyes, shaky voices, and their excuse? The model made an allocation based on available data, we didn't override it in time. Now, in other words, the AI did what it was told. It just didn't know what it was doing. Was it a rug pull? No. The team didn't steal the funds, they didn't vanish, and they didn't spin up fake wallets or front run their users. But it didn't matter. The money was gone all the same. Not through malice, but through automation. A digital tragedy of misplaced trust and missing guardrails. The chain recorded it all, block by block. There was no hack, no exploit, just a smart contract doing exactly what it was programmed to do without any wisdom to know when not to. And again, this wasn't theft. This was the illusion of intelligence and it cost millions. Because in the end, the AI doesn't rug anyone, but it did enable the rug with brutal efficiency. Brutal, brutal, brutally excruciating. Yeah. This is what happens when you put decision making into the hands of a machine and forget to teach it doubt. Well, obviously it didn't work. Next up we have Grok. In the late 2023, a token named Grok burst into the scene, claiming inspiration from Elon Musk's AI chatbot. It wasn't affiliated with Musk or X, however, but that didn't matter. The branding was slick, the narrative was viral, and the token soared up to $150 million in market cap in just nine days. Then came the unraveling. Oh boy, here we go again. Investigators uncovered that the developer behind Grok had ties to previously failed projects. The community, once euphoric, turned skeptical, and within 24 hours, Grok's value plummeted by 50% erasing nearly 100 million in market capitalization. Again, there was no hack, no exploit, just a loss of trust. Trust, here's trust. Grok's rise and fall exemplify how quickly sentiment can shift in crypto, especially when the projects lean heavily on the hype without substance. The AI branding attracted attention, but without transparency and credibility, it couldn't sustain the momentum. This case underscores the importance of due diligence and the risks of investing in projects driven more by marketing than by merit. Next up we have Encryption AI. In mid-2023, a project named Encryption AI emerged claiming to revolutionize token launches with AI-driven insights. The platform promised automated bots that would collect and analyze data to assist users in identifying promising new tokens. Investors were drawn in by the allure of cutting-edge technology simplifying the complexities of crypto investments. Oh, wait a second. You're getting scammed. However, in 2023, the project's creator, known pseudo-anonymously as OxenCrypt, executed a rug pull draining approximately $2 million from the protocol. 
In a message to the community, the developers cited a gambling addiction as the reason for the sudden withdrawal of funds. The abrupt exit left investors blindsided and highlighted the risk associated with entrusting funds to unverified platforms. Damn! This incident underscores the importance of due diligence in the crypto space, especially when projects leverage buzzwords like AI to garner trust and investment. The lack of transparency and accountability in such projects can lead to significant financial losses for the unsuspecting investors. But not everyone plays fair. By 2024, AI wasn't just a tool, it was more of a costume. And crypto scammers, well, they wore it like designer jackets. Because why build trust when you can build buzz? Marketing. Marketing, super, super. Suddenly, every new project had GPT in the name. Alpha GPT, Traybot AI, Neural Yield, Quantum Chain, Dozens of them flooded Telegram, Discord, and Twitter with glossy promo videos, white papers filled with stolen diagrams, and the promises of autonomous AI trading trained on secret proprietary data. Except there was no model. I don't know what I expected. One project in particular, AlphaGPT, faked live trade feeds by scraping real Binance stickers and overlaying them with imaginary positions. The dashboard looked like a Bloomberg terminal, but underneath, Nothing but front end smoke. It was, it was fake. Investors didn't just buy in and they bet big. Some wired entire portfolios into smart contracts they didn't understand. Others joined training programs where they were told they could help improve the model by paying for it, allegedly to fine tune the AI. Spoiler alert, there was nothing to train or fine tune. And you keep falling for it. No backend, no neural network, just a web flow site on a countdown with the inevitable rug. But here's the iconic twist. These scams don't just collapse because people did their own research, they collapse because ChatGPT did. Reddit threads lit up with prompts like, is X token a scam? And the AI with zero hesitation answered, highly likely based on available data. That's how far it went. Actual AI was now exposing fake AI. Ah, friendly fire! Some of these projects didn't even bother hiding it. They used free GPT-generated content to write blog posts, medium articles, even fake interviews. And one of those scams even promoted a partnership with Google and DeepMind. Another claimed its LLM had beat OpenAI in its head-to-head -head tests using screenshots from video games. And the worst part? It gets worse. The people who fell for it weren't stupid. They were early, desperate, hoping AI would give them an edge in the market that constantly feels rigged. Instead, they got rugged by buzzwords. But let's be fair, it's not all vapor. There are real wins, projects where AI is actually doing what it's supposed to, learning, optimizing, and protecting. Take Sentiment, a protocol that uses natural language processing to monitor market psychology. It scrapes thousands of tweets, Discord threads, Reddit posts, and even GitHub activity to build real-time sentiment scores for tokens. Not perfect, but genuinely useful in volatile markets. Or take Kaiko's AI alerts, which track unusual trading behavior and flag it before it hits the news cycle, tracks whale movements, liquidity shocks, order book anomalies, and quiet signals that most retail traders miss until it's too late. Even the controversial world of MEV, the minor extractable value, is getting smarter. Some bots now use reinforcement learning to optimize sandwich attacks and front-running strategies. Ruthless? Yes. Intelligent? Absolutely. The machines are learning, but they're not always working for you. And AI's reach goes beyond trading. It's making waves in smart contract auditing where machine learning models are trained on historical exploits to flag new vulnerabilities in Solidity code. In KYC and AML compliance, AI is sifting through biometric data and risk profiles faster than any team of humans ever could. Even NFT pricing models are being built with generative AI that factors in rarity, artist reputation, on-chain metadata, and market momentum. The promise is huge. Imagine DAOs managed by machine governance with no political drama. Imagine Solidity code that writes and secures itself. Imagine arbitrage bots that adapt across chains in real time without needing to be rewritten. But here's the tension. Every time AI touches crypto, it inherits its chaos. Because math can fix greed. Logic can replace caution. And intelligence, artificial or not, 
can still make dumb decisions when it's trained on noise. If you feel broken, make an omelet. In a market this unpredictable, automation isn't always a solution. Sometimes it just makes your mistakes faster. Now, of course, AI isn't smarter than you. It's just faster, more consistent, immune to panic. But intelligence? That's still a human job. Of artificiality. In crypto, AI doesn't eliminate risk, it multiplies it. Because when a model trades on chain, it doesn't know the context. It doesn't read Discord drama, regulatory rumblings, or the quiet exits of a founder. It reads patterns and backtests data and pulls the trigger. And if those patterns are flawed, so is every trade it makes. Makes sense. Most AI systems in crypto don't understand the markets. They automate signals, chase momentum, and react to inputs. That's not intelligence, that's acceleration. Which means if you're feeding it hype, low quality data, or assumptions disguised as truth, you're just giving it permission to lose faster. And that's the core problem. AI doesn't just fix greed, fear, or poor judgment. It just removes the pause between the impulse and the trade. So ask yourself this. Does the bot you're trusting know something you don't? Or is it just making your same mistakes faster, louder, and at scale? Because in the end, the edge doesn't come from the model. It comes from knowing when not to press go.